Hey everyone, Kyle here. Welcome to my humble little gaming YouTube channel called Game Time. Um, huge thanks if you're a new subscriber or checking the video out for the first time. A uh, brief introduction of myself. I've been pretty much gaming my whole life. Always had a few games here and there, mostly Nintendo. But in 2013, I decided to kind of really branch off and uh, go for a lot more retro and really expand my horizons with the gaming. And I started up this YouTube channel mainly to show off a lot of great uh, classic retro consoles on down to newer stuff, uh, handhelds and whatnot, and showing off some hidden gems and great games that I've enjoyed and uh, a couple great items I've uh, collected over the years. So thanks for everybody who's been here um, as long as I've been here. So it's been really great. Um, if you're looking for a community uh, to join, that also is a celebration of gaming. I highly recommend the Cartridge Club, link in the description below. So, on today's video, here's another console review, sort of a console review. I don't think I've done anything really this old yet, dot, dot, dot. but this is a Pong console. You know, in the 1970s, there were quite a few of them out. Odyssey had um, a lot of good Odyssey um, Pong consoles. Atari had a couple of ones. Uh, you might know of Super Atari Pong. A couple other companies made their Pong uh, consoles, Sears had in there. But this is from National Semiconductor. Semiconductor. It's called the Adversary. Nothing too special. This was uh, kind of in the mix, so to speak. But uh, had a couple of unique features. So we're going to take a look uh, at the um, yeah, console itself and uh, show off a couple minutes of gameplay. Just kind of see what uh, this looks like compared to some of the other Pong consoles of the era. So... Let's uh, open it up, and thanks for watching some game time. All right, let's take uh, a look at the box itself. We'll kind of start things off. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's a little beat up, but I got a pretty good deal on it at a local pawn shop uh, a while back. It has a big, uh, like, this ugly looking tape on it. But as you can see there, front of the box, nice uh, guy playing uh, with his wife. I guess it's his wife. I don't know. It could be a guy in a wig. Um, going to show us off a little bit what it says on the side. Basically, individual play controllers means you and your opponent can sit in your favorite chairs and compete. Blah, blah, blah. On the side here, lovely tape. Seven game combinations to play. Three two-player games, three one-player games, and one player against adversary. All games end at 15 points, is what that says. Realistic volume-controlled sound effects. When ball or puck strikes a surface, realistic sound is heard through the TV speaker. Wow, easily installed and all that fun stuff. So, uh, and nothing too much on the side there, pretty much. You can see they give you some screenshots of what each game looks like, tennis ice hockey and handball so let's open it up here oh man that just smells like late 70s basically what it looks like there this is really good condition i was very uh very pleased the uh controllers like most pong consoles i'm going to be very noisy here for a second my apologies but uh, the controllers like most pong consoles of the time are connected to the system itself as you can see so unfortunate but that's the technology of the time so we'll get back to that in just a second connected to your tv through one of these things remember that luckily there's also uh, ways to play uh, better ways to play nowadays and the adapter which is really in there That was a lot harder to get out than it should have been. There's that adapter. Basically your standard wall adapter there. Let's take a look at the console itself. We'll come back to the controllers. So it has kind of that wood finish uh, famous for some uh, other consoles of the era. Uh, notably the Atari 2600 and the uh, maybe Intellivision as well. So it has that nice uh, wood grain finish. Basically on and off. That uh, is as described. Game selections, this is how you'll choose between your tennis, hockey, handball, etc. 
Uh, nothing much on the sides, just more that beautiful wood grain finish, nice and smooth. On the back is where, once it uh, kind of gets some light in there, and there we go. There's where you all plug into um, the TV, and there's where you'll plug into the wall. You have some of that stuff there. And then, not much on the bottom, just some uh, some of this fun stuff. But it does have an interesting thing, a single player mode. We have the switch right here where, oh, this is not showing up too well. But there's a switch right here, multiplayer mode, basically your two-player mode. And when you switch it, you heard that click there, single-player mode. That lets you play um, just sort of with one player. You use just one of these uh, controllers. And you control both paddles on um, either side. So kind of an interesting one. I don't think a lot of other Pong consoles did that at the time. So we'll show off what the single-player mode looks like as well here in just a moment. <clears throat> And both uh, controllers there, like I said, they're connected to the system. So you cannot take them out. So both basically the same. It's kind of loose. It, they're kind of a very thin controller too, thin uh, joystick. So interesting, but uh, it makes for, uh, I don't know, it's loose. I'm not quite a big fan of it. And there's the reset button right there. So uh, very light too, extremely light. So you want to be careful not to throw these things if you throw a fit so but yeah there's kind of the adversary console itself let's uh, plug it in and take a look at uh, what the pong games look like on this thing all right here's what the uh, kind of game looks like it's nothing too extraordinary this is the uh, ice hockey version of course it's uh, two players here there's a one player mode i'll show off here in just a second but so two different uh sort of, I don't want to call them paddle controllers, but uh, pretty unique. So that's how that works. Both of them are connected to the system. So we have the uh, ice hockey. We have, I guess, uh, as they call it, tennis, but it's normal, normal pong. We have racquetball, which when started, I think this is one that kind of flips in between the both. So yeah, so one at a time. This is like player two here. Then goes to player one, and the object is to kind of hit the ball. So this is kind of a unique one to kind of do on your own. And uh, there we go. That's the three games you can choose from. Uh, but like I said, there is a one-player mode, so we'll switch it over. Not too bad. It's kind of it's cheap fun, I think. All right. So as I said when I was pointing out the uh, console itself. It actually has a very unique one-player mode, not something that uh, a lot of Pong consoles did. So as you can see, the paddles on the left and right-hand screen. This is the uh, hockey one. I'll just do the normal Pong one up and down. I'm actually using just one controller here, going up and uh, up and down with both. So pretty unique for its time. Let's... Uh, So here I am. I am playing with myself. Ha ha ha. And it's also uh, unique as well. I don't think uh, too many Pong uh, consoles at the time had one where the ball actually speeds up after a few, few hits like so. You see it's getting kind of faster and faster here. So I don't think a lot of consoles had that. Also a lot of Pong consoles at the time had uh, the speaker that came out of the system itself. And this is one where, of course, you hook up to the TV. So you can always adjust the sound via TV, like so. Oh, great, I won't, there we go. So coming out of the TV speakers, and again, um, various Pong consoles did do that, but this is 1976, so you didn't have a lot of uh, systems or Pong con or systems that did that. Let's take a look how the racquetball looks. Yeah, switching between orange and purple. So pretty neat there for the one player. Uh, hey, everybody, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking the video if you've done so. Leave a comment on uh, one of your favorite uh, Pong consoles of the time. Do you like the Atari Super Pong? Uh, do you like a Coleco Pong? The Odyssey, there's been a lot of Odyssey Pong consoles. Which ones have been your favorites? Leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. 
and we'll see everybody in the next video. Game on.